All right, and uh, welcome back to AXF Play Gaming, and welcome back to Bug Fables. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to start the episode with some bad news. So, I had already started recording this particular episode, and I started the next chapter of the game, and unfortunately, in the middle of recording that episode, uh, my computer crashed, so I lost about 20 minutes of recording. Luckily, it wasn't too much, but it did unfortunately mean that you're gonna lose a little bit of context. So, we went to the throne room, we talked to the queen, the wasp king was there, he stole, well, the queen decided to give him the artifacts uh, to basically spare all the explorers, and she feels like she's not worthy. The boss, uh, the wasp queen, uh, kind of tried to encourage her. It, it's a, it's quite a bit actually. It actually shows that Ellicent the second is not as ruthless as she appears to be. The main thing to take out of, um, to take out of that cutscene is the fact that Ellicent the first is technically still alive. She's just uh, in a stasis. And the reason Ellison II wants the sapling is to make help her come back to life, essentially. So there's that. Additionally, uh, all boats have been destroyed, so we cannot just go to the Rubber Prison, which is the area that is connected to the Giant Slayer, which is where the sapling is very likely going to be, based on research by Neo. Uh, additionally, we got a little bit of cutscene. Unfortunately, you're gonna miss out on my voices since, you know, I lost the recording because of the crash. I also picked up two new quests. We talked to Neo afterwards uh, about the... Oops. About the mysterious piece. Or was... No, it was, it was the peculiar geek gem. Sorry, not the mysterious piece. Uh, the Peculiar Gem, and he gave us the hint that we should go to Snake Mouth Den. And last but not least, uh, luckily this happened after I saved the game. That's the problem. I saved the game in the middle of recording. So, that's why I can't show you guys the cutscene, unfortunately. So I saved before heading out, basically. I also did some cooking, um, and I explained also that... Whoa, my game slowed down for a second there. Um, I explained when I was in the wizard tower because that's where I started the original recording. Ah, oh, my metal. Defeating the carded beast. It's here to take this. The reverse toxin metal. I'll explain that in a second. Um, as I was saying, I started the episode in the wizard tower with the spider guy. And I mentioned that luckily, uh, the squash that is in the bandit's lair actually respawns, so you can actually kind of farm it if you need to. And um, luckily, I gave one squash for that quest, and the other, I had three additional, uh, two additional squash, and one of the, uh, the squash puree, luckily, works to making one of these items, which was the squash candy. Squash candy is made with uh, squash and uh, the baking mix, or whatever it's called. Squash tart is made with a spicy berry and a squash. Pumpkin pie is made with the squash and a burly berry. And that's pretty much all the recipes I did. Luckily, uh, I decided not to do the dark cherry ones until I have more dark cherries, so there's that. But yeah, on the bright side, this will give me more time to actually do Leaf's request. That's what we decided to do. We were like actually walking right here. Um, when my game decided to blue- uh, my, my game. Uh, my laptop decided to blue screen on me right about like right here. <laughs> I'm not sure why. It just, boom, blue screen out of nowhere. It's weird. Uh, but uh, once we make it to Snake Mouth, I'll explain what the reverse toxin middle does. It's unfortunate, but you know, this is just part of the life of trying to make videos for YouTube. Sometimes things go wrong for no reason. And it's unfortunate, but we just have to make do. Not be too upset over it and just keep going. Damn it, no berries though. Anyways, we're almost there. 
Really? Get out of the way. We're still gonna keep them, um, um, we're gonna keep on the Buck Me Nut for a little bit longer. So you still get a couple of random bugs that are still in the way, on the way here, getting in our way. Die. Alright, so, as you might remember, this room over here, I ignored it once I walked in here. Because this is where the peculiar gem goes. Uh, Neo told us that it actually is weird, weird that we found it in the sand castle because his notes say it leads to a sort of lab. But it does fit here. And the door has been opened to the mysterious lab. Neo was right. This place must hold clues to your past, Leaf. Did you have a book that in a chica? Uh, yeah, you ready to go in? A chica throw. Uh, is that a yes? Rick? Oh, this isn't lasting way too long. Sorry, you're you're not wrong. This the place is intense. Well, let's prepare it properly. A place this well marked garden must have its own set of dangers. Hopefully, a treasure or two too. What matters is finally finding our answers. Alright, so this is a little bit of a warning that this area might be on the difficult side. As if I wasn't already playing on hard mode anyways. Speaking of hard mode... Oh, we'll go after this. I'm starting to worry. Jerks! What the heck? A bee. And a beetle. And this place? It's kind of funny. Uh, they sort of resemble Kabu and B a little bit. Leave, you get them. That language is it? They won't listen. Ready up. So, we are fighting a zombie and a zombie tool. <laughs> Anyways, let's do the zombie first here. Ugh, this is not right. This feeling is... Focus, we'll just freeze everything in our path to the truth. So these seem to uh, be similar to the zombie ants. This uh, heavy strike real quick. So five damage. Oh thanks. One TP back. Let's first uh frozen coughing the beetle. Nice. And we'll uh tornado toss the beetle. Three, five, six, seven, eight. Bye bye. Only two ex exp, so we're actually getting pretty close to the threshold here. But before I murder this guy... Ugh. Why is it so familiar? I'm feeling dizzy. Can't fade now. We, we must support Cobble in piercing his defense. Uh, let's see. 11. We're gonna do... 4 damage because it's frozen. And if we do the other attack, we should be able to beat it, I think. Because it should pierce his one defense. Damn it. Uh, nope, we're good. Alright. Luckily, the beetle gives us 5 XP. This is wrong. It feels way wrong. What could this mean? Why can... We understand them. Don't jump to conclu any conclusions. We, we must delve deeper. Find the truth. Uh, right. Let's move on. Super huge gap. Even if I carried you, I thought we'd make it. Hmm. We have an idea. Nice. Uh. Is it safe? They'll probably melt out. We'll have to be quick. No problem. We can now create icicles. 
but we also gained the Ice Range skill. So this is, I believe, the second to last traversal move we're gonna get. Anyways, we are in the Upper Snake Mouth Lab. So, Bug Me Not is not useful anymore. And we will actually take out Strong Start for now. Because... We have uh, this medal to use, the Victory Buzz. Similar to Triumph, but instead of 2 HP, 4 TP, which is infinitely more useful. Additionally, I'll explain what Reverse Toxin does. When you equip it to an ally, they heal from poison, but it reduces their defense by 1. So it's a very risky medal, but it has very applicable uses. So you can combine it with Eternal Venom, so basically have infinite HP regen, but also reduce your uh, defense by one, which is super risky. You can stack it with Poison Defender to basically nullify the defense down. Obviously, weak scum the stomach works out with all the poison ones, and so on and so forth. Uh, our next level up, I definitely want to take T. Well, I did say I wanted to take HP, but TP is also a big one I want to get because of Leaf Cloak. We wanted to give this to V, so she is targeted less often by attacks. Anyways, we have to lead with, uh, we have to double tap, or is it hold? No, double tap. There we go. Now we can make ice platforms in the water. A little bit of a slow way to travel. But we can now cross water with this skill, which is, uh, very useful. Oh yeah, you. Yeah, let's use uh, let's use V's thing. Actually, let me do this first. There we go. A bloat shroom. This hideous thing. The feelings hold some connection to the jelly shroom. Should be equally weak to ice. Let's be wary of its poison and a counter-attack. Alright, so we'll turn Relay back to Leaf. So he can uh, do an ice attack. Because, as you might remember, plants are weak to poison. I mean, the poison to ice. Alright, so that's 5 damage total. Um, if we use Hurricane Toss, I think we'll beat it. I can't quite tell how much damage that is. It's at least 8, but yeah, it was 8 probably. Eh, 2 damage is not bad. Yeah, it was 1 short. There we go, 4 XP. So technically, we only used 2 TP for that fight. Hey, look, uh, Crunchy Leaf, which we'll actually use right now. Screw it. Here you go, Leaf. But you might notice we need a lot of traversal skills overall to even, like, stand a chance in this area. Let's see, um... I'm trying to remember how to even hit that. Can we climb this side? No. Let me read this, actually. Not roaches, stay out. This is your first and final warning. Hmm. I may need a different skill to actually go up here, maybe. So we might not be able to do this, but... Because I don't think the boomerang... The boomerang can reach. No, there's no way I can reach that. So yeah, we might not be able to actually do this, which is unfortunate. I really wanted to do this, but... On the bright side, it let me pick up a new skill. So welcome... Oops. Am I sure I cannot climb anything here? Ah, whatever. We'll just come back to this later. But at least we picked up this skill. But yeah, uh, the mystery of Leaf will have to continue unresolved for now. We can always come back here. Anyways, in that case, let's see what else we can do. Um, we could do these two quests. Yeah, this shouldn't take too long. Uh, let's see, we need to meet her at the Wild Swamplands entrance. And her, we need to actually visit at Middle Island. 
So I have to run all the way back to the Ant Kingdom Ant Tunnels. So we can get there relatively quickly. Leave me alone. I don't want to slap on bug me now, so I'll just dodge these guys. But yeah, I'm still a little sad that I lost, uh, you know, a little bit of recording time. Mainly because, uh, you know, I enjoy doing my little voices and hopefully you guys do too. Uh, additionally, obviously, you guys lost context to... To, uh, you know, the story. I did my best to do a very brief overview of it. But it, there's not as much detail because I actually also forgot to mention... Uh, the main thing we're gonna- we're doing story-wise is going to the Forsaken Lands. With the Queen. To, um... What's it called? To visit the Termite Kingdom, who originally was our ally. Well, the Ant Kingdom's ally. But, uh, unfortunately, Ellicent II couldn't maintain relations, so we lost- uh, she lost that ally for her kingdom. And, but we need their help because we have no boat to get to the rubber island- uh, rubber prison area. Because all our boats have been sunk. So we're gonna ask them for help. And hopefully they agree to it. Also, uh, I got a crystal berry, uh, right off the beginning of the- well, slightly behind where the quest board is at the main plaza. So yeah, this episode's taking a bit of a turn because of recording snafus and the fact that I cannot do the quest I wanted to do. We could technically do it relatively soon, but... I don't- th well, I don't think I'm locked out of doing the quest. Well, not the quest, but I, I don't think I'm locked into doing main story. So I may visit the story in a bit. Uh, but we do have a lore book. Here you go. What's next? Brief history of termites. How convenient. Termites, like the wasps, lived in these lands before Ellicent the first, and like them, lived just outside of Bulgaria. In isolationist society, they say the termites were close allies of the roaches and as such possess advanced technology within their dome. Unlike bees and ants, termites possess both male and female soldiers and work in their society and work as in their society. They are also very good builders and know how to use clay well. So yes. Uh, they're one of the few insects that actually uses both male and female soldiers. Uh, I'm going back to the throne room to show you. This is uh, Vanessa the first, and this is the termite royalty. Uh, they were both covered for obviously spoiler purposes, but this one particularly was covered because they're not out longer allies with us. And this one was covered because, you know, royal th that particular person is actually dead. Um, I wonder, what happens if I talk to you? Oh yeah, he just kind of reminds us how to get to the tunnels. If you remember, in the tunnels to the Golden Settlement, uh, you might remember there was a giant ass boulder, but we, now we have this skill to use it to break it. Oh, hello. During the attack, a piece of my, the main crystal fell off. It turned into a pretty nifty tool. Would you mind testing it? We got the Ant Compass. This compass always points to the Ant Kingdom. Use it to find your way back. You can use it wherever you want to travel back here. Quite a few tunnels leading back already. The compass will take you to them. So, luckily, we have gained a great item. Alright, I am gonna slap on my Buck Me Nut, though. Uh, what do we take off? Well, let's just take a break, it's fine. Then quickly, I guess. Give me berries. Damn it. But yeah, if you remember... Ah, I can't see! Oh, it's because of the rocks. The one lady wants to meet us at... The swamp lands. But since we lost the excitement of doing the leaf side quest. Ah, damn it. I didn't climb that platform. There we go. I thought I did, but I guess I not. Or I guess I didn't. Since we're kind of heading that way, anyways, we have a bit of a fight ahead of us, actually. And I'm not talking about the swamp enemies. If we go hard right here instead of um, to the upper path, 
Well, upper path here is not what I meant. You'll see in a few seconds what I actually mean. You might recall when I went through this area the first time that I pointed a specific bug out. Uh, over this way. Damn it. Nah, it puts me at the beginning. That's so silly. Alright. We need to adjust our metals real quick. Slap on uh, that back on. Uh, we'll take off Victory Buzz. Because uh, I'll actually use the Strong Start. We have one left over. Uh, I don't think I have anything in particularly good to put on, so we'll just have bug me not, whatever. Halt! Who goes there? This is private property. Leave! Whoa, chill out. We're just walking around. I won't say it twice. I will protect this land. Get out! You got it all wrong! Excuse me, we come in peace. We're simply exploring the... I warned you, I won't, if you won't leave, I'll drive you out. Whatever, you're probably hiding treasure or something. I knew it, poachers! Way to go, V. Wait, we're not poachers. Grah! So normally... Oops, I put it on B. That's fine, we'll have her scan. It's whatever. I usually don't have B scan, I guess. Oi! For once, we don't want to fight, just stop hitting us. Ah! These bombs can wreck up damage fast, we'll have to plant around them. So yes, this is Riz, who has 85 HP. So it's a mini optional boss. Anyways. He also has two turns in a row. So we will do a heavy strike. Yeah, five damage. Oh, thanks. One TP back. We will do Hurricane Toss. Yeah. That is already 13 HP off of him. Hopefully we can freeze him. Damn, no luck. Alright, so V, let's use the, we need TP, so let's just use the squash candy. We'll save her charge for now. Uh, Leaf, you will, uh, oh actually I can't do anything about the bomb. So in this case, let's just do another heavy strike. And hopefully I can freeze them this time. It's a chance to freeze, uh, as always. There we go. Let's just say... Squash Tart on B. And on Kabu's turn, we will use the Glazed Honey. We will do nothing. Unfortunately, that did uh, numb her. Oh well. We'll just deal with it. We will use break. We'll do a basic attack. Damn it. Alright, his defense is down, so we will Tornado toss him. Six, five, four, three, two! A lot of damage. Oh yeah, so right now, Leaf cannot use skills. So we will do this. And with Kabu, we will do a Taunt. No. Ow. Magic seed. 
unfortunately, that does mean he lost his defense up. But that's okay. Um, see, we're having some issues now because... We have a lot of bombs in play. Let's see, let's use this on B. Oh, I managed to block that one. We have another magic seed for Kabu. Kabu eat this. And B will hurricane toss. Thanks for the defense up. Your charm has run out. Well, that's no fun. I'm so early on that. Well, we're pretty much about to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's use Break. And Tornado Toss. Four, two, one, and one. Bye bye. No, oh, the village. Listen, we truly mean you no harm, even you'll beat your ass down. Yeah, sorry. Then, you're not poachers. Nope. My... my bad. It's been tense with so many wasps about. Do we look like wasps? It's only my family and I here. We don't see many others. I assume the worst. My bad. It's alright, forgive us for the smacking. What do you want, then? Uh, we just really want to look around. Maybe help a bit? For a price? Definitely nothing evil. Well, okay. I'll let my family know of your arrival. Please don't disturb us, though. So now we can visit this guy's family. Let's just, you know, hang out. Hello. Hey, uh, you're from the Big Sand City, right? Well, no, but we've been there, young lass. Really? Is it true there's a big sweet maker? There's a baker, same thing, probably. Cool, you know... Bro brings us food every day, even if dad fishes. But it's super salty. I wish I could have some sweets, like a nutty cake. Well, for like 10 berries. Say so nothing more, your first child will get it. So we have a little quest. Hey, look at this guy. Hiding in this. Hiding in the obvious. Ah, oh, oh, you found me. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Take this. Thank you. Give this a secret, please. Yeah, they're just talking about that. So, so that guy just fishing about. Anyways, we're just gonna move on. Yeah, so... This episode's taking a bit of a turn, you know? I can't do Leaf's quest because I forgot I need an additional skill. And, you know, my game crashed earlier, so... There's also that. And I know I said I should move on from it, you know. Like, things, these things happen. But, you know, it's still... It's still sour. I lost recording. All, all that happened, all those 20 minutes only live in, live in my memory. And no longer on yours. Or available to you because they only live in my brain. Ah, it's you. We meet again. So it goes. Seps lost again. Pretty much. We were sightseeing a swamp and then got turned around, he was gone. Sightseeing? He's incorrigible. Meadowlife, why would you think this place... This was a place to take the sights? I've heard of the leaf bugs leaving here. I wanted to meet them personally. But yes, the area is also full of monsters and murky water. They didn't mention that. Last tourist agencies. Well, it's fine. We'll get him back. This time I shall accompany you. But... Do not worry, I can handle myself. I'm even get to see some leaf bugs. And I can't just stay here worrying about Seth. It's mortifying. So let's go into the swamp. 
This isn't just a leisure trip, you know. Ugh. Easy there. We'll get through this just fine. So, Madeline is actually joining us on this one. Uh, here you go, Kabu. Eat some, uh, some a little bit of that and some a little bit of this. And we'll hold off the breast. Because I don't think I'm quite there yet to... Ugh. Die. No. Well, at least that guy's gone. Uh, obviously these guys are also goners, but I don't know about the actual leaf bugs. Well, bug me not, it's pretty great, isn't it? Madeline, why'd you not jump? Do you actually like the murky waters? I guess she does. <laughs> she did jump that time, but she fucked it up. But this quest should be relatively short. Get out of my way. Hey. Thanks for the berry, though. Let's see. Nope. He's also dead. No! Crunchy leaf! That could have been useful, potentially. Oh, speaking of which, uh, need to take off strong start. Put it on uh, leaf. Well, this is gonna be a lot easier than I expected, mainly because, um, oops, jumped on the wrong branch. Uh, mainly because Bug Me Not actually does work on these guys already, which is actually surprising. Kinda figured they would've given me at least 2 XP or something. But we're just gonna move on. We're almost there though, because now we can use this one. Waha! Take a big old shortcut over here. Uh, let me see here. Um, actually, we don't quite, quite want to go there. We actually want to go this way. Ugh. The only bad thing about this, uh, we are gonna have to... Well, I don't remember. Do we have to do all the freezing stuff? Probably, actually. Well, luckily these guys are dead meat now, so... We won't accidentally get into a fight like we did last time with the, uh... Um... I forget what that guy's called. Leafling? Something like that. Now well, we can casually just go through all of this. Thank you for the berry. Uh... Is it this room? No, we still need to keep going. Sap, steer. Are you in here? Wait for us. Alright, it's this room. It's kind of... That's your hint that he's actually in this particular room. Uh, does your ability work here? No. That's fine. We'll just ride the actual, uh, lily pads. Because if you remember right, there's, uh, the bottom right area over here. Luckily, we can get a magic seat back from the ones we use. Hello! Seb! My lady, I'm deeply sorry for abandoning you once again. I believe you're safe. But you must you keep causing me so much trouble. M my lady, please, how can I make up for this mistake? Hmm. When we return home, you shall make your legendary delicious treats. I will not let you down. Thank you once again, Team Snakemouth. I am in your debt once again. No problem. You're brave now if you want. Ugh. It's a bit dangerous here. Would you visit me at my residence? I live just next door to the Explorers Association. Gotcha. Let's leave this dreadful place then. I'll make sure Seth doesn't get lost again. Don't mind us. I will follow your every step. See you later, Team Snakemouth. Unfortunately, they don't take us with us, but we have the choice here, which we are going to take. Because Madeline actually lives in this house over here that I haven't even looked at because it's been locked this whole time. Also, Crystal Berry. Explorers, I'm happy to see you visiting. Let me show you your proper gratitude for saving Sip twice. I can only hope that this is enough. We get 30 berries. Please, visit us anytime. 
Help yourself to some tea. Um, could you lend us one of our, your umbrellas? The heat's starting to get to you, huh? You're in luck. I do to have this old one I no longer use. It's all yours. We get a leaf umbrella. It, it is? I must let you pay us for it. No, sir, no. It's not the least I can do after you help me out so much. Thank you. It'll really help us out. So, you might vaguely remember we get a free burly tea and some allure book. Hello, Seb. You guys share a bed, huh? Ooh. It, what else do you do as her ser uh, her servant? A well, latest incredible person to surf. I must be more careful. Thank you for rescuing me twice. I will repay you someday. How? Anyways. <laughs> uh, we'll just leave them to their private business now. But, uh, uh, we will take a little bit of a trip here. If you remember, we got the ant compass. Let's use it. Whoop. It automatically takes us here every single time, which is pretty great. Uh, since we're here, we're going to take a quick peek at the lore book that we just got. Hello. Here you go. Ah, oh, wonderful. The roaches. The roaches are the oldest of the bugs that ar arose after what they call the Day of Awakening. Having mastered the art of crystals, their civilization rose on top of this abundant power source. However, they suddenly disappeared. Many have speculated on the reason. Popular sentiment is some sort of civil war must have led their civilization to crumble. Personally, I doubt it. Surely some would have remained then. If some roaches did survive, they lived far from Bulgaria. Perhaps not even they would know if they're, what their ancestors, ancestors did. So yes, the roaches have been missing and no one knows what exactly happened to them. But anyways, uh, we're gonna do two quick trips. First, uh, we are actually gonna go to Middle Island. Because we have a request in this area, if you recall. Sorry, little ant person. These guys are all chill and no one cares that the world might end. But you might remember this bug. Hey, uh, are you the lost sister's, uh, sister? I... I... Have some tech, B. Pardon her, or explorers who took your request. Ah, uh, I get it now, thank you. But, so what happened exactly? Um, my sister's super strong and brave, she's always taking care of me. Saw her taking a walk with this wasp. I trust her so I didn't get worried, but she hasn't come back. She must have been kidnapped. How did the wasp make it here? This place hasn't been the target at all. Matters not. We have someone to rescue. I never heard them mention the wasp kingdom. They gotta be near it. I... It's my turn to be brave for sis. I'll meet you in the grasslands entrance. Wait, you're going to? We'll be right here. Well, we'll be right there. Please be careful. So yeah, we'll have to meet her later. Uh, do you have any more songs for me? Four bears. Thank you very much. Uh, how many bears do we have? 40. Ah, we can afford a tangy berry. Gimme. Yes. Yeah, we'll buy some more later. I'd rather not farm for them because we do have some more recipes to do with tangy berries. Anyways, back to the tunnels we go. And this time, we are gonna go back to the Defiant Root. Because if you remember, there was a request way back when. Uh, of a lady that is too hot here in the desert. And not the good kind of hot. And she is in this building. Hello. Ah, did you find something for the heat? Here you go. Wow. That umbrella's beautiful. It's one of a kind, but perfect for your needs. <laughs> Don't that look cute? Super cute now to seal the deal. I must go through such a hassle. I hope this makes up for it. 50 berries. Oh, and take this too. Reflection metal. Another reflection metal. Whoa, you're giving us that much? Yeah, it's a lot. This umbrella will last me more than 20 ointments. It's okay. We're grateful, Miss Aramie. We hope you have cooler days ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'll get going now. So now she'll occasionally be walking outside, which is kind of cute. Anyways, uh, we do have to go back to 
Guess what? The uh, Waff's Kingdom, and the main reason I took this route as opposed to taking the... What's it called? Uh, the tunnels is because this is technically a little bit closer. Actually, I almost forgot. We did take a request from the girl in that hidden village. She wanted a nutty cake, right? Let me double check before I forget. Oops. Sweets from outside. Uh, nutty cake, yes. And luckily, we can make nutty cake. Oops, it's actually closer to the top, actually. Nutty cake is a heart seed with flour. Luckily, we picked up a couple of those. Hey, buddy. Uh, I need some stuff. Yeah, only a hard seat. Luckily, we just got money. We could have just bought it, but this will save us a little bit of berries. Bag of flour. Hard seat. Give me cake. Uh, are you selling anything, though? Super pepper. Boosting attack. I believe that is also permanent, so we'll be coming back for that later. And also, I'll probably go all in on damage with uh, V if you haven't figured that one out. Anyways, as I was saying though, the main reason we're taking this route is because it's technically closer to the Wasp Kingdom. For a couple reasons. The fact that we're also picking up the nutty cake is a little bit of a bonus thing. But we will end the episode once we fulfill these last two requests. Hello, lady. Uh, hi, hi, I made it. We could have escorted you, you know. Uh, it's okay. I gotta be brave to rescue sis. Allow us to accompany you from here to the boss human kingdom, at least. Uh, uh, Alright, let's go. It'll be fine, just stay behind us. Luckily, we have Bug Me Not. The main reason I'm taking this route, though, we obviously cannot cross through the front gate, though. But now with this skill... We can claim what is in here. More Dark Cherries! Oh. Shortcut, guys. <laughs> Anyways, we do have to go uh, through the back. As uh, a friend of mine would say, we gotta hit it from the back. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, we just gotta walk around. We're gonna take a quick detour to visit the the village real quick to deliver the, deliver the nutty cake since we're already here. Also, I forgot to mention. Uh, what we got for giving the... The spider, the necessary items. We got Frost Relay for Leaf and V. V Leaf and V take turns striking an enemy, freezing it, and whacking it without mercy. So both of them can use this skill. Um, I believe, though, that you cannot use the skill if one of them cannot act for the turn. So you have to use both their turns to actually use the skills. Um, this includes other skills of that nature, I believe. Anyways, you got the cake? Here you go. Yay! Boy, what's that? Why are you with my sister? Chill out, it's just cake. Super yum cake. Cake? You don't know what cake is? Uh, no. Not really. Preposterous. Here, try some. Oh, whoa! Incredible! We threw a piece right across the, the room to give it to him. And he caught it with his mouth, trust me. Sweets are the best! <laughs> Thanks, I got to share with bro too. I have to go into the city and get some for father. Here, something I found earlier. You can have it. Yay. Thanks. Can't wait until next time I eat it. Yummy. Hello, old man. It's a perfect day for fishing for worms, ain't it? Apparently, he can fish from worms in the water. Anyways, with that taken care of, sorry, sorry lady, we just had to take a quick detour. But you'll be safe, don't worry about it. Luckily, oh nice, single berry. Since we have the ice uh, skill now as well, we can actually 
completely skip the um, the swamp. Because we can do this. It takes a bit though, unfortunately. But it's better than going through the entire swamp. Well, we don't know, we don't need to do the entire swamp, but it lets us skip. Uh, ah, what the hell? Well, that's unfortunate. That's the only bad thing. Since everyone's kind of crowding the screen, it's hard to see. Let's actually move it this way. There we go. So if you're having a hard time seeing, it's a good idea to go one to the side and then start going up because the uh, the characters tend to kind of follow slowly. There we go. Because it's possible for you to have that skill uh, to cross the water. That's why they have those boulders there. So you need to go to the swamp to acquire this skill. Anyways. Over here. Hello. Sis, get away from her, you kidnapper. Bumble? What? Kidnapper? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb. You stole her sister. What? But rebel... Rebel is my... Bumble? What the heck? You're ruining my date. Date? With a wasp trooper. Oh dear. You have a date? You didn't say anything. I thought you... I was trying to do something spontaneous for fun, okay? It's true. I invited her here. And she said yes. Please understand. Tensions have been running high. Who cares about those politics? We just want to be together. Why didn't you tell me? I, uh... I thought you wouldn't approve, so... Of course I do. You support me in everything. Wow, your sister is cool, Rebel. Uh, sorry for this misunderstanding. No, it's my bad. I should have told you, Bumble. Guess everything's fine then. Still, uh, we could probably stay at middle item until the conflict dies down. Yeah, you're right, I guess. We spent some good time here anyway. Some good time? Whoa. Thanks for caring about Rebel so much. Here's a little something. Yay! You're so cool. You're a cool dude. Sorry for the scare. <laughs> I get that a lot. We'll get going now then. Take care. Yay! Well, we don't want to be here anymore, so... Bye-bye! I'm so pa happy I finally have that item. Ah, so... Let me check what else I have. Uh, we're gonna end the episode soon. Uh, let's see... Yeah... We, the only easy quest we still have is the one for, um... The mysterious guy who lost an item. Uh, but, uh, right before I end the episode, since there's no combat and we missed, uh, unfortunately missed some story stuff, I'll do a tiny bit of story stuff at the, right here at the end of this one. Uh, right, we need to go to the Golden Settlement Tunnel. Or Golden Hills, rather. Whatever it's called. Do I still have Bug Me Mod on? Yes, I do. Alright. Granted, it won't be useful in a few moments, but... Oh, free berry. I'll take it. Ha, <laughs> get wrecked. Anyways. We need to go in here. And you might remember... We have the ability to break boulders. But before I do that, um, I believe... Once we go through here, was there a... Yes, there was. I never came back for this one. A lore book. Uh, I don't think there's anything behind here. Nope. All right. Just had to double check, you know. My queen, are you sure about this? These lands are very dangerous. If there was any other day, way, I sure I would take it. Forsaken lands. Do the rumors were told true? Many dangerous beasts roam in the forsaken forsaken lands. Some even disguise themselves in various forms. Famished creatures, always waiting for their next meal in the land where plants only grow by miracles. But heed me, nothing in this land compares to the horror we will live if the wasps get the sapling. I heard that the termites dislike ants heavily. Would they open their doors? 
We can only hope they real they realize this matter's concerns them as well. Having a queen with us is not the worst insurance. Let us proceed at once. You're to keep me safe, but I will support you where I can. Leave it to us. Be careful out there, my queen. The real horror would be a kingdom without you. My loyal subject, I thank you. Please wait faithfully for our return. As long as Ellison is following the party, you are now able to use the royal decree skill in battle. So yeah, uh, real quick, break the rock. Uh, and we're gonna take a Buck Me Not because it's useless uh, for the next couple of uh, areas. Uh, do we have anything for one weak stomach? Yeah, I'll just slap that on. Because here, remember these guys? Well, now they're officially here. Just in case you don't remember, I am gonna redo this fight. I'm not gonna scan them again, however. There we go. So yeah, these guys have two defense, 18 HP, which is not... Not a great thing for us in general. Because, you know... While B is our powerhouse, she lacks some piercing attacks when she does not have TP. Luckily, we have a lot of attack of her with her already. Boom. But he just do big damage. Luckily, since we froze that guy, we kind of lay waste to this guy a little bit. Eh, we don't have enough TP, but uh, the Royal Decree is 5. LSM will inspire the party, boosting attack and defense by 1 for 2 turns. So it's basically like a um, berry jam, but for the entire party, which is pretty great actually. There we go. So he's free now, but luckily we should be able to finish him off with B. And they give a lot of XP. 14, to be exact. Ow. Not ideal. I prefer if you attack Cobble, please. Actually, let's turn Relay to Cobble. And do a taunt. Hey, buddy. I believe we'll be able to save in the next room. Ow. So, no big deal about the, what's it called, the TP that we're down to 1, and our HP not doing so hot either. Cabo may go down though. No, drop your rock, good sir. Yeah, Leaf can't do much right now, unfortunate. I should have just turned relay instead. It's okay though, we're done with this fight. So 28... If we do another one of these fights, we can actually level up. We have some big gems, some berries, and a shaved ice. Hello, little bugger. Um, I think you're actually new. <sighs> I guess we'll take a Jade Stew just to make this uh, work out. Um, actually, I need to slap on the... Victory Buzz again, so let's take off Strong Start and the Tardy Great Shield, maybe. Now, let's take a break. Slightly less useful overall. So, we have Victory Buzz, and so we'll save the 1 TP for when we actually leveled up. Alright, so this guy will actually use Kapu for once to spy. Iron Nail. What speed? You cannot underestimate any creature that can survive in such a land. The word said it is, I shall drag it in out of its shell when it retreats. So it has two defense. 11 HP. So yeah, a lot of these guys tend to be on the tankier side. Not only in HP, but also general defense. Luckily, this guy's alone. Ah, we didn't freeze it. Uh, no thanks. Alright, down to one. Bye bye. Mm. 
Not quite, but it's okay. We'll start off next episode with a full level, probably, but, uh... Uh, is there anything to be, f be found over here anywhere? Doesn't look like it. I feel like we can go up there for some reason, though. Maybe we can later. But we are in the Forsaken Lands. Like, who's this guy? <laughs> are these normal bugs, I see. Patton. So this is where you crawl to after your exile. Who's this guy? Oh, yes, the little scientist. A mad scientist with no concept of ethics or safety regulations. Oi, oi, my style never hurt anybody. Too badly. I do not have time for a trip down memory lane. You seem pretty, uh, bust out. It must be serious. I must try to return my kingdom, or all Bulgaria will be doomed, Kabu. Boy, that sounds rough. I wouldn't help my research at all, either. If you got any tips, it help. There's something fog. Nothing to be done about that, but It's not for the trash, yeah? But I've been marking it to remember the correct path. As long as there's a fork road, keep your eyes open. You'll be fine. Patton, thank you for your assistance. Now, about the, their exile. We will discuss that when the kingdom is safe. Please keep your trinkets here for now. <laughs> Alright. Drop by if you ever want to peek at them. Uh, can we rest here by any chance? Probably not. Nope. Fortunately, the regular crystal here. Not a red one. But that's okay. So anyways, this are the Forsaken Lands. The lands of Forsaken that no life lives. Except bugs that live in the far end of it, apparently. Anyways, with that, we will call it an episode. So fortunately, I'm sorry that we lost the cutscene and a little bit of after talk of uh, the start of this chapter, along with, you know, me actually talking with their character voices and the little recipe thing, and also the spider thing reward. But I'll f that's all we gotta say for now. Anyways, guys, I hope to see you on the next one. Like, comment, and subscribe if you the content. Leave me a nice comment, leave me a le mean comment. But it's all the same. Anyways, guys, I'll see you then. Bye.